Uh, ready. Okay, and then Huber, you ready to record? All right. At this time, we're going to go ahead and commence the beginning of this meeting and the event that is the 2022 Hell at Loose Memorial Day event. Without further ado, I'm yeah. going to give the floor to Lieutenant Second Lieutenant Smithson. I'm just a guest. Copy that. Thank you, LTC. Honor Guard, attention. Honor Guard, port arms. Forward. March. Honor Guard, hold. On a guard, right face. On a guard, present arms. Ready. Aim. Fire. Aim. Fire. Aim. Fire. On a guard, port arms. Thank you, Lieutenant. It is with great honor that myself and Lieutenant Colonel Rob welcome you guys here to the 2nd Battalion Sunday, the 21st of August, Memorial Day, Memorial Day, Hell at Loose event. We are here in St. Mary Glees at the church near the cemetery area as well on the, on the training server. We gather here today to remember the fallen, remember our brotherhood. Remember, Hell at Loose is a game, and being part of this community. 7th Cab Memorial Day marks the August the 21st of each year, the traditional Memorial Day of the 7th Cavalry Gaming Regiment. The date was chosen in remembrance of her first fallen member of the 7th Cavalry Regiment, Brigadier General Crazy. 7th Cavalry Memorial Day is considered a furlough day in which all departments and units of the 7th Cavalry Gaming Ceases operations in respect for the fallen, with exception to the regimental meeting. Within this time, a special regimental meeting is held, as we would just preview to at that special regimental meeting. Additionally, each battalion in the regiment has the option to host a memorial service and dedication in their area of operations for the fallen. The previous uh, memorial recordings you can see online and be preview to as well. Remembering the Fallen, the 7th Cavalry Gaming Regiment is a brotherhood which sets itself apart from the rest of the way that uh, in professional professionalism, high standards, and conduct, and above all, performing as a close-knit team in all facets of life. While many gaming communities end their days together when they log off on their favorite games, the 7th Cavalry continues this brotherhood into both late and rough nights. Together we stand united by a banner of yellow and black, pleading for one another when the time comes. When our actual lives, similar to the games we play, would not need dedications as such this time. Our real lives are more hectic, chaotic, and trying and tough in this in this unit. Through these tangible times in our lives, unlike other digital ones, however, we always get the better in the end and, and work together as a team to accomplish all goals and assets and functions that is a 7th Cavalry Gaming Regiment. The hopeful majority of us are lucky enough to pass on peacefully when the time is right. Others taking us by acts of God and unfortunately too many who fall to the battle within themselves. The Wiki Memorial Project serves to act as a place of an epitaph beyond which is the Arlington National Ceremony Cemetery, sorry, Arlington National Cemetery section in our mill packs. In these pages, we hope to carve the story of those out of the blank forms in this vocabulary so that you, can, the reader, may also be able to see those who have passed and been part of the CAV before. And the Wiki Admin Group has worked hard along with the 7th Cavalry Regiment to ensure that the Fallen Brothers, uh, their names, the dates, and, that, and the uh, aspirations that they have had throughout their 7th Cavalry uh, career lives on forever. That being said, that is why we're gathered here today is to honor 12 individuals who have fallen, that have by fallen, give the uh, definition, uh, have been deceased, 
outside of the 7th Cavalry Gaming Regiment, and those individuals be, will be listed by the general. At this time, we're going to switch uh, gears and give a 12-gun salute to the fallen members of the 7th Cavalry Gaming Regiment, and we're going to be listing them by name in honor of their remembrance. I would ask that outside of the gun salute, we take a moment of silence for each individual who has passed. Uh, Lieutenant General Burgundy, you have the floor. All right. We stand in remembrance of Brigadier General James Crazy Foster. Aim. We stand in remembrance of Major Delvinuk Carter. We stand in remembrance of Colonel Anthony Aviles. We stand in remembrance of Command Sergeant Major Ron Cold. We stand in remembrance of Corporal Tars Tarkas. We stand in remembrance of Corporal Brian Britton. We stand in remembrance of Specialist Rhea Novak. We stand in remembrance of Sergeant Kyle McGeehee. We stand in remembrance of Brigadier General Stephen Tracer. We stand in remembrance of Specialist Roy Bowman. We stand in remembrance of Specialist Hermes Cooper. We stand in remembrance of Specialist Brendan Muska. I return the floor to you, to Lieutenant Colonel Emerson. Thank you, Lieutenant General Burgundy. At this time, we're going to speak briefly. I'm going to speak briefly about two fallen members, to which the full eulogies can be found here, starting with this link, and then the second link here. First uh, individual of the fallen, to which it says my uh, link didn't work. That's weird. It says your message could not be delivered. All right, well. Um, let's try that again. There we go. Worked the second time. This one, these are out of order now, but that's fine. Okay, the first individual I wanted to talk about briefly, and uh, it is a great honor to state that I knew 
Stephen Tracer, who later became Brigadier General Stephen Tracer. And long story, very, very long story, very honorable story, short. He is no, well known as the founding father of the disciplinary system that the 7th Cavalry Gaming Regiment uses. When it comes to anything that's known as a negative counsel statement, a verbal and counsel statement, a DCS and NCS, Article 15, Article 32, Judge Advocate General Office, all the documents to which you write things on were based upon St Stephen Tracer's work. Stephen Tracer created a legacy to the 7th Cavalry Gaming Regiment that is basically how to handle and deal with times and things that are difficult within the CAV. I had a great honor and privilege of knowing Tracer while he was part of the 7th Cavalry Gaming Regiment as a member still active. And he will always be remembered. And uh, the contributions to which he gave as a legacy to honor all. Another thing that's very important that I want to bring out is that he was online upwards of 10 hours every single day of every single week, of every single month, the entire duration of his entire half career. When I enlisted personally as Lieutenant Colonel Emerson, uh, I enlisted in December of 2012 and went through my boot camp in January of 2013. At that time, when I met uh, now deceased Brigadier General uh, Tracer, he was an individual who knew that he was going to die. He had Lou Gehrig's disease, and he knew that he was going to die, and he still contributed his best efforts to the 7th Cavalry Gaming Regiment, regardless of that information, and he still did his absolute best. Was well informed, knew their rights and procedures, was able to move forward with the best of their abilities in order to honor others than himself. And it is a great honor to have known him and a great privilege to share the responsibility that is the memory of his fallen. And without further ado, we're going to move into the second person that I'm going to talk about. And the link of their full eulogy is in the chat. And that is Corporal Brian Britton. Corporal Brian Britton has the distinct honor of the 12 individuals who are deceased of being a member from Hell at Loose is the only member on that list who was a member of Hell at Loose when they were deceased or at any time during their career. Brian Britton, I first personally met when I was involved with the program for the SPD training staff that was to oversight the starter platoon of going into War Thunder. And he was a very active member. He squad led elements and he had a great attitude about him. And when War Thunder itself was struggling, he himself was above and beyond the video game to which he was part of and moved into which is now Hell at Loose and wanted to be a contributing factor. And I thought it was a great honor and privilege to know this individual because they cared about the Cav more than the game that they played. They cared about the CAV and its future more than the game that they played, and they wanted to see it grow and participate. They did not just care about the game to which they enlisted. And they they moved forward, and when the, he joined Hell at Loose, he was a contributing factor here. And he will be always missed uh, in my memory and the memory, memory of anybody who is in this channel who is a member of Hell at Loose who had the privilege and joy of knowing Corporal Brian Britton. He is also known as Britain, or Britan, sorry, Britan, or Britan, as the Battle of Britan, uh, due to his flying antics in Hell at Loose, or I mean in, uh, sorry, in uh, War Thunder, I apologize. And we honor his memory here, and the last thing I'd like to state about him is in 2020, on the September of the 5th, in-game at the Church of St. Mary Glees, which is where we are gathered here today, was where we held his memorial previously. That being said, I personally would like to thank everybody who is here today, uh, all the members who made this event possible, whether it was staff who was uh, making sure that uh, the coordination was correct, 
or whether it was troopers who were part of the coordinations, all the way from the top of the chain of the leaders to the bottom of the chain and the honor guard. I would like to say thank you very much for being here. I appreciate you guys and all the work that you do for 2nd Battalion. And let this day also be an honorable and memorable, memorable day for the 7th, 2nd Battalion Gaming Regiment, uh, for the 7th Cavalry Gaming Regiment of the 2nd Battalion, for Hell at Loose. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and now turn back to the Honor Guard for the dismissal of this event. Uh, 2nd Lieutenant Smithson, the floor is yours. Thank you, uh, Lieutenant Colonel. Honor Guard, present arms. Ready. Aim. Fire. Aim. Fire. Aim. Fire. Honor Guard, port arms. Thank you all for being here. You are dismissed.